Good morning, everyone. We're excited to be here today. Hope everyone is enjoying the conference so far. So everyone in this room is generating data. Even if you're not moving at all, you're still generating data. Think about it. Data is what we use every day to communicate with each other. Organizations use it to decide how to improve their revenues. Governments use it to decide how to provide better services for the, their citizens. It's no wonder that we're creating more and more of it. All this data opens new opportunities for everyone, everywhere, at any time. We've heard just yesterday in the keynote some of the great ways in, that we're using data in medicine with precision medicine. This is one of the great examples. But also, more data creates more risk. With more types of data, more data sources, and coming in from more at a faster rate, this also creates a new opportunity for risk. With all this data going around, how can we possibly know what's going on with it? We see data breaches all the time. We see our private information, personal information being made public and vulnerable to identity theft, to credit card fraud, and causing huge losses for corporations. These attacks can also start to shift to some of our critical infrastructure or public services. I'd like to take a quick poll here in the room. Anyone, please raise your hand if in the last 12 months you received an email or letter that maybe your personal information had been exposed. And I'll start with myself. Okay. So let's add to this. Uh, keep your hand up, please. It won't be too long, so you won't get tired. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's add to this. Anyone that has received an email from one of their web service providers that they should change your password because it may have been exposed. Also, raise your hand if you received a new credit card because your credit card company said that maybe you had a loss of your credit card. Raise your hand if any of your families or friends had their data compromised. Okay. So for those of you that did not raise your hand, how many of you think that your data is compromised, but you just don't know it yet? <laughs> okay. So security needs to be on all our minds as we propel into this data-driven future. We don't want data to be tainted by attacks. We don't want the fear or the doubts of being able to use data. We want to unlock all its potential, especially when there's so many potential to use it for data for good. We're already starting to see open data initiatives everywhere. For example, in Kansas City, with the Open Data Network, they're starting to share public information about housing and government initiatives that are allowed to create new opportunities and new businesses. But this data is still also subject to fall under attack. We need to secure all data, including open data. Securing all data is possible. We already have the core technology to secure its confidentiality and integrity. We can develop new methods on these data, on this core technology that allow us to secure data beyond the traditional system boundaries. So we need to work together to form a new standard. Some of you, my security peers here, may have heard of the term secure by default systems. Well, I'd like to introduce today the concept of secure by default data. So together, right here, right now, at this conference, I'd like everyone to start to think about this new standard of secure by default data. This is important. So I'm going to start with the definition. So secure by default data is data that has self-contained properties that allow its system to secure its confidentiality and its integrity. Data that comes with a built-in security contract between its producers and its consumers. So think about it. For example, in the healthcare industry, a patient record, a record that is always protected coming off of the medical device, going into one system, going into another system. The data is always secure, and only the people that you have granted to access it can access it, and only for the purpose that you've allowed them to. So this is being guaranteed by secure by default data. can be done. Not only that, it can also be shared anonymously for a greater good. The time to establish the new standards is now. 
We've already adapted new standards within big data in many ways. For example, Apache Avro, Apache Parquet, or for unified access control with Apache Sentry. We need to establish new standards for securing data. Together, we can start to work with open data to be able to take advantage of these new standards. Using open data, uh, it will accelerate adoption within the commercial and public sectors to start to use data that is secure by default. At Cloudera, we've already seen much of the impact that security can make in using data. We're very thrilled that our money of our customers and partners and the community have helped accelerate adoption and innovate within the security fields. For example, with Intel, we now have within Hadoop and HDFS encryption that is nearly 0% performance impact. We've enabled data governance within Hadoop, enabling our customers to have more visibility and more control of their data within their systems. We've also seen Hadoop meet some of the most stringent security standards meeting PCI compliance, so Cloudera being the first and only distribution that allows handl handling of credit card data in a compliant way. So with open and secure data, we're unlocking new possibilities. We're understanding better our environment. For example, with the energy, we're starting to track data from energy creation, transformation, and consumption. This is allowing us to be smarter of how we use our data, being able to optimize how we're using our energy, and being able to move forward into more renewable resources. In the healthcare industry, we're starting to see open and secure data make an impact. We're sharing device information with clinical patient logs and being able to extrapolate new information that we couldn't do before. So for example, also with Intel and the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's, using wearable technology to detect uh, some of the measurable features of this disease with uh, slowness of movement, uh, sleepness, tremors, and being able to use this to better understand this disease. Open and secure data will ensure we provide better education for our future. With personalized lessons and plans for students that adapt based off of their capabilities and ensuring that they're always going to be successful in their education. This is also going to ensure that future generations learn how to better use our data that we're generating today and ensuring that it's going to be successful. We all have a responsibility. Everyone here has a responsibility to protect data. You are in data scientists. You are working with data. You have this responsibility. We all must be good data stewards. So everyone here, I know you will leave the conference with more knowledge, new ideas, and inspiration from many things. But if there's one thing I absolutely think that you should leave with is the opportunity to be part of something big, something bigger that you've ever seen before up until today. And that opportunity is now. You can be part of that. You can start to collaborate here at Strata. You can go back and collaborate with your coworkers. But you can make a difference. It only takes a few people with a passion to create something new, something that the world has never seen before. So secure by default data needs you. Thank you.